In this video, I will show you how to configure single post settings. Go to Appearance and click on Customize. Under Post and Pages, click on Single Post. To demonstrate these options, let's go to our blog page and we will open one of our blog posts. Let's open this one. The first option is post structure and under post structure you get post elements like featured image, post meta number 1 and 2 and title. If you want to make any of these post elements appear or disappear, you simply have to click on the eye icons. Let's say you want to make the featured image disappear. Click on the eye icon and your featured image will be hidden immediately. You can do the same with the rest of the post elements. You can click on the eye icon again to make them visible. You also get configuration options for all of the post elements. Let's start with featured image. Click on the drop down arrow. Then you will find options like image ratio. Click here. By default, the predefined option is selected and when you have selected predefined, you can go for four different options here. You can also customize your image with the help of custom option or you can always go for original. And when you select original, you can select image size from range of options that are available here. We will stick with full size. You can also select image visibility across different devices. Next is the post meta. Here you can add various elements. As you can see the categories item has already been added. You can also further customize it by clicking on the drop down arrow. Then you will find options like category separator. This option shows only when you have selected your category style as normal. You can go for separator number one, two, three or four. Let's go with separator number three. Apart from normal and filled, you can also select custom category style. And if you select filled as your category style, you can also select the category color. Click here, then you can select the color of your choice. You can go for any vibrant color or the color that matches your site's preference and requirement. Let's stick with the blue color. Apart from categories, if you want to add in more items, then click on the drop down arrow, then you can select from the list of items that are available here. Like if you want to select author, then you have to select author and click on add. Then author will immediately be added to your post meta number one. If you want to further customize it, again click here, then you will have options like selecting the author avatar, setting the avatar size as well as changing, adding or removing the label. If you want to sort the items, then you simply have to drag and drop the items and you will see the changes immediately. The configuration option is available for all of the items that you want to add to your post meta number one. Third is title. Here you can select the heading tag from the list of options. And fourth is post meta. All of the items that are added under post meta number two are invisible. So let's make some of them visible. Let's make the published date visible by clicking on the eye icon. And the published date is displaying here. If you want to add more items, just like with post meta number one, click here, then select the item that you want to add. Let's select reading time, then click on add. 
and reading time will be displayed here. If you want to further configure it, click on the drop down arrow and you can set the words per minute. For your publish date, you can select the date format from default or you can customize it. Just like with the items for post meta number one, you can also sort the items for your post meta number two by dragging and dropping them. Then if you have selected more than one items, you also get items divider. You can go from four of the options that are available here. The same option is also available for post meta number one. If you have selected and added more than one items, now finally, if you want to sort the post elements themselves, let's say you want to add the title right above the featured image, simply drag the title and put it right above the featured image, which will make the title display right on top and you can do the same for both post metas. And this is how your single post will appear. I'm going to set them back to how they were before. If you want to delete any one of the post metas, then simply click on the cross icon. Let's go back. Next is the breadcrumb. So this right here is the breadcrumb. You can disable the breadcrumb by disabling the toggle or you can enable it back on by enabling the toggle, which will display the breadcrumb once again on your single post. Next is the link highlights. So if you have added any links to your single post, you can configure the link with the help of this option. You can disable the link highlights or you can enable it back on. Upon enabling this option, you will also find more configuration options. Just click on the arrow. Then you can select the style from style 1 and 2. Then you can also select the design like selecting the text color. You can also select the hover color. You can also select the background color. And you can also select the background hover color, which is right now the blue color. You can go for a lighter color if you wish to. Then you can select sidebar layout from four different options available here. You can go for the right sidebar. Then you can select left sidebar, which will make the sidebar appear on the left hand side. You can go for full width. Or you can also go for the full width centered sidebar layout. Let's go with right sidebar. Then you can also select the container layout from unboxed, content boxed, boxed or default. Next is the stretch layout. If you enable this option, it will stretch the container width to the end of the screen. I'm going to disable it. Then if you enable the display post tags option, if you have added any post tags for your single post, it will be displayed. But because I have not added any, it will not display even if I enable the option. Next option is to show or hide the related posts. Let's scroll down. These are the related posts. You can either hide them, make them invisible or you can enable them back on. Then if you want to change the related posts section title from related posts to anything else, you can just remove the title that is already here, then you can type in the title of your choice. Next, you can also select the related posts that are displaying here based on category or the tags. Then you can select the number of related posts to display. Right now, three related posts are showing. You can increase the number of posts that will be shown. Or you can also decrease it. Then you can also select the number of related posts per row.
or you can simply increase it. In addition to that, you also get related post meta structure option, which lets you configure and manage the related post meta structure. So currently the publish date and categories are added and they are showing here for all of the related posts. If you want to hide them, click on the eye icons and they will not be shown here anymore. If you click on the eye icon back once again, they will appear here. If you want to add more meta elements, then from the drop down option, you can select the element or the item that you want to add. So let's say if you want to add in reading time, you can click on add after selecting the item and the reading time item will be added to all of the related posts. You can also sort these elements. Then you can select the items divider from four of the options available. If you want to reset, click on the reset button. And if you want to delete any of the elements that you have added, then you simply have to click on the cross icon. The next option is to show related posts after comments. By default, the comment section shows right below the related post. If you enable this option, the related posts will be shown right after the comment section. Another option is to show comments form above the comments list. By default, the comments form appears right below the comments list. So when you enable this option, the comment form shows right above the comments list. Next is to show comment section right below the content. Again, if you enable this option, the comments form will display right below the content. The next option is to show post navigations. These are the post navigations you can either disable or you can enable it back on. Then you can also enable or disable to show the post author. Lastly, you can also select the content area vertical spacing. You can select only top, only bottom, or you can disable it. Let's select top and bottom. After you are done, you have to click on publish. So this is how you configure single post appearance. In addition to the settings, Rishi theme also provides you with the option to set different settings for each of your single posts. In our next video, I will show you how to configure the sidebar settings where we will also dive into those options. If you have any questions or confusions, leave them down in the comment section below or even better, directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.